I'm in the backstage of XOYO with Francesca Lombardo. Please make some noise! <laughs> Hello, Francesca, how are you? Hello. Fine, thank you. So, how does it feel to be a female, very important figure in the music business? Same as being a male. Really? Yeah. Do you think it's the same? I think so, yeah. This is great. Yeah. How did you get into this? Um, I worked really hard for like 10 years, like I never gave up and uh, I was lucky enough to meet someone, you know, who believed in my music, so, and he wanted to listen to my music, so I really liked it, you know, Damien. He's like my best friend, daddy. <laughs> You know. He was your mentor, sort of. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. But now you're doing your yeah. path by yeah. yourself. So what's your project for this winter time and the future at the moment? I'm preparing a live set with uh, string players. And I'm going to have my debut live in uh, day zero in uh, Playa del Carmen. Lovely. In January, yeah. And then so I'll very come. soon, hopefully, you're going to come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, very soon. And then I'm going to start doing it probably in the summer and then to promote my album, which is going to come out after the summer. Do it's just it uh, it. me, like, it's my own music. And I have, okay. like, uh, a quartet string players. I have, like, a cello, a viola, uh, uh, sorry, two violins and a viola and a double ba uh, bass player. And uh, me singing and playing some chords, like, or melodies on top of my music, yeah. Is this going to be for clubs or more for open-air clubs? It's both, both, yeah. It's like a crossover between the two, which is, I think it's cool because it's nice, you know? Like, you can listen to it in a club, but you can also listen to it, like, in a in a normal venue, like, where you're not, you don't have to, like, go crazy, you know? So you are Italian? Mm hmm And uh, you've been living in London for a long time, I've heard. Yeah, 15 years. Has this changed? the way like your career obviously and uh, if he has how well i came to london because i knew that london was the right city for me but at the beginning i came just to to sing in bands i i never thought i was gonna be a dj and then, like i met people start going to like parties and start djing for fun and then the dj the djing took over more than like the singing and then now I'm actually doing both, which is great because like the DJ brought me somewhere and now I can actually sing as well because of, you know, I met the right people. Of course. Know. Do you like more producing or expressing yourself with the performance? I really like producing. Yeah. I really, really do because it's like my own place, my own time, my own space, my own express, you know, way of expressing myself. But I also like to like DJ. I mean, I couldn't live without one or the other. Oh, the other. Yeah, I couldn't, yeah. Who would you like to work with if you had to I choose someone? I would love someone? to work with Odeon, like Matthew, Matthew Deer, yeah. and um, Nothing Fake, James Alden, Am and Dixon, and like, you know, the melodic people, to DJ Tennis, you know, yeah. lots of like Great. melodies, you know, that's what I like. What uh, are the best places you you played at in your career as a DJ? Well, Day Zero for sure was a very good experience because it was not only like a party, it was a spiritual, it was, there was something behind it. So yeah. there was like a, a reason why the party was happening. Yes. Like it was really like full of different, you know, information, you know, rather than just being party, party, party. Mm. I love Circo Loco, of course. It's always been my dream to play there and I had the chance to play there this summer and, you know, last summer. And Enter was really good as well. I really felt like uh, they were really professional. Like Richie Oting was really cool with me as well. Like personally. Flawless production, isn't it? Yeah, it was just really, really, I, I didn't expect that. You know, when they told me we were going to play there, I never, like he came on behind the DJ booth while I was DJing to say thank you. That was really cool. And, um, and of course, London. I think the parties in London are the best. I think so too. Yeah. <laughs> We love London. Yeah. Thank you, Francesca Lombardo. Thank you. Francesca Lombardo, this is DMOLive.tv.